This emerged during a visit by Works and Transport Minister John Mutorwa to the offices of the Trans Kalahari Corridor Secretariat, where he was briefed about the operations of the regional body involving Botswana, Namibia, and South Africa. The 1,900 kilometer long Trans Kalahari Corridor traverses the three countries, and the Secretariat, which is based in Ventuk, manages the affairs of the road corridor. TKC's Executive Director Leslie Mpofu briefed the Transport Minister. Mpofu stated that both Botswana and Namibia already legislated the one-stop border post concept, but an agreement governing the operations of the border post is currently with the Attorney Generals of the two countries. Botswana and Namibia have agreed on a juxtaposed uh, system mm -hmm. whereby uh, you know goods vehicles will be cleared by Namibia because Namibia already has have, have a scanner and when they are cleared they don't need to also to be cleared in Botswana so uh, Botswana because they also have uh, passenger scanners they will clear passengers yes and, and or other travelers private, private uh, uh, you know travelers and then Namibia don't need to do that. So in a way, you, you reduce on the time that you spend at the, at the, at the border. So this is what we call a, a one-stop border post. Minister Mutorwa wants the one-stop border process accelerated. The activities must not be limited to idealism, it's true. to theory. It's true. Because these, these, these yeah. activities on the corridor, as you have correctly said, it promotes trade, it promotes bringing people together. Yes. And we in SADC, the C in SADC stands for community. Yeah. Yeah. So the issue of how yeah. human beings, individuals, yeah. how do they interact? Yes. They can only effectively interact and trade if you have yeah. infrastructures in place, roads, uh, railways, uh, airports, harbors. The TKC Secretariat was established in 2003 with a political and economic vision to contribute towards deeper regional integration.